Hello everyone! Welcome back to Lou's Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. This is Bart 6, the Orange uh, Orange Ocean, and I'm your host, PhoenixFire76. Uh, when we last left our hero, we had uh, made a complete joke of the boss in the fifth world by uh, abusing him with our mallet. And we're gonna try and keep that up here. And uh, try not to lose it, try not to lose it, trying not to lose it, trying not to lose it. Wow, that was close. Um, a little bit of lag. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, so, yes, we, the reason why we want to... Oh, my goodness. Where'd he come from? He's not allowed up here. He shouldn't be allowed out of water. Um, yeah, it wasn't... It's not just for that, either. Um, we want to we wanna keep this mallet because there's another secret area uh, up ahead, similar to the one in wherever that was. Uh, whatever area that was. Wow, that was close, too. Um, that we can only access by with the, with the mallet, like none of the other powers will work. It's right here. See this? Only with the mallet. Uh, but let's get the one up first. So, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, well, I don't think it'll been too long by the time I upload this, so I, I actually don't need to apologize, you know, in between the last part and this part, so I actually don't need to apologize for too much, uh, except for my lack of motivation to, whoop, well, that's okay, we don't need it anymore. Uh, except, of course, for my lack of motivation to do this. Let's see what we get here. The ball, I swear, I get the worst powers out of this nonsense. You know what? I'm gonna die if I do this, so let's just dump it. <laughs> that's There's just no good that's gonna come out of that. Ah, uh, screw it. So yeah, um, moving right along, I, uh, I've i been playing through this just a little bit more, like I said, um, you know, so that's how I knew I, I needed to mallet there, and there's a couple other secrets coming up that are, yeah, I would have forgotten in it, or not forgotten, but it would have taken me a while to have, um, you know, successfully done, so hopefully we should be able to get through the rest of this Let's Play without too much trouble. We don't have much farther to go, actually. There was, um... Well, there was something that, that is actually not coming up in this game that I thought was, uh, and it's actually, I realized later, it's in the Super Nintendo uh, Kirby game, so, um, something that I thought took a long time, and, and it's not, so. That, that is sort of vague and, and unhelpful to anybody, but, well, there it is. So yeah, we're moving right along. Um, this museum, let's just check it out. I haven't been showing off what's in the museums. The wheel power in this one. Uh, not terribly helpful. Uh, I don't even know if we'll ever even be using the wheel for the whole rest of the game, but... Ugh! My aim has been off, like, terribly in this lately. Um, <laughs> there was quite a bit of fail in the, uh, practice runs. Um, not too much of a practice run, but, you know. So here's another, well, that's hard to get, but you see this up here? This is what you really want. And you want the rock. So they're, they're starting to really sort of make you pay attention through doors that you can only get through once. You see, there's no actual way to get through that again. So, um, you gotta be ready for it. And you have to also hold on to it throughout all this stuff here. Uh, it helps, yeah, it helps to be a rock while that guy blows up the world. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's all you have to do. And then, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Wow, that was close. We're gonna die anyways, but actually we won't. I know what's coming up ahead. Aha! And you don't. Well, maybe you do. Whoa, that was extraordinarily close. I don't know what's going on, but I noticed this, this, this game is really, like, sluggish lately. So this is why we want the rock. The rock power, obviously. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. It's trouble. Uh-huh. This is making for a good let's play right here. Uh-huh. I, I can't do anything, huh? Now they're both gonna be on top of it. Oh boy. So how are you, viewers? Um, I seem to have noticed that this 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 series is actually getting a couple of views, which is kind of exciting. So, um, but not so much in the comment department. So if you're watching this and you're liking it, please let me know. Uh, if you're not liking it, especially this part right here, I'll screw it. Uh, um, yeah. If you're not liking it, let me know that too, and maybe I can do something different. I don't know. Probably won't be in time for me to finish this let's play because this let's play is only gonna be two more parts. Uh, I think. Um, I might break this one down. Depending on how long these things take me. Like, <laughs> you know, incidents like that. Ow! Crap. You know, stuff like that. Like, <laughs> adds, you know, completely waste of time. But, um, we'll just keep on going. No time for dilly-dallying here. Um, yeah, we'll just hold on to the spark power, I guess, for now. Well, maybe if we can. Uh, one of the great things about this game is that... Or, well, it, it, it's a great thing, and, and it also makes it a little bit... Um, another reason why it may have seemed like a little bit juvenile is because you have so, whoops, you have so much life and there's just, there's so few opportunities that you have to die. And I don't know, obviously I've died a few times, but, you know, oh, ow, I forgot about that. I knew he was coming too. I knew that was coming because I had gotten it the last time and I completely forgotten about it before that. Um, 
Yeah, there's a UFO there. He's only there once. And uh, something I don't think I mentioned the last time we saw the UFO. Um, it's actually not essential at all. Um, you know, for this particular part, but... Whoops. But, um... Yeah, the UFOs, they don't respawn. Even if you leave a room, like, go through a door and then come back through it again, um, they don't come back. So if you've killed it, or even if they, like, like go off screen, um, they're gone. You know, before you... You know, you'll have to reset the whole level. So, it's, uh, something to bear in mind that, uh, when you see it, grab onto it and, uh, don't miss your opportunity for it. You'll see what you'll see what I mean in, in a while. I think it's gonna be in the next part. I think it's in the seventh world, um, not this one. I'm almost positive on that. Uh, yeah, I played through the whole rest of the game actually, just to sort of refresh my memory. And um, I was kind of disappointed in the last boss. I remembered it being a lot harder. Whoops. Yeah, see, stuff like this is, is much harder than the last boss. Um, well, it's gonna hit me. No, oh, no, oh, time is just right. Um, so I don't know. Ah, here we go. Here's another important uh, area here. Just uh, keep blasting away at this guy with whatever power you have. Again, like I said, I don't like messing around with these mini bosses. I just like, you know, che not cheaping them, but, you know, doing stuff like that. Alright, now ditch your power up, whatever it was, and we need a mallet, yet again. This is a this is a really tough one. This one actually took me a couple tries to remember what to do. You gotta destroy that box, which I did remember. Uh, and again, only mallet only. Um, and then you gotta come over here knock him out, and if you're, like, lame and low on health, like I am, grab one of them, and then, you see, you destroy this, and that brings water, and you're like, oh, well, what's the point of that? Well, right underneath where exactly that was is a door, okay? So that's really impossible to get that one off, I think. I, I don't know if it's possible at all to get it, but if you had the rock power. So you want to kill the guy with the sword, uh-huh, and now you have to ditch your rock, uh, ditch your power up, and, uh, get the laser power up from here. Okay, now, now we've got to come all the way over here. If you went through this door here in the middle, you'd come back to the ship. But we want the black door, and here we are. So now, a, a, a little known fact, maybe not a little known, whoa, that was close. Um, do not go above there, because then you can't get back. Um, but a little known fact is that the laser power-up also lights fuses. And that's the only way to do that. The only way. Now, if you go above that, that, that level platform there, then you're stuck. Then you have to finish the level and come back another way. It's annoying. So don't do it. Um, Alright, now that is the way forward, is that door. Whoops! Uh oh. I don't really need that laser power up, but I would like to have it if I can. That's wrong. Uh, yeah, so here, there, these are actually four doors. You want this middle door here. Get the one up. And then, you can't actually exit through them, but you can exit back through these. And then we gotta go right back up to where we were, and... So you see, if, if you had gone the other way, you would have come out through that door. Uh, if you had completed the area with the, um... Without the hammer, and gone through the secret area, you would have come out through there. And also, I think if you had, um, messed up the, um... Lighting the fuse for the secret area, I think you would have also come out through there. Almost positive on that. Come all the way up through here, and we got our warp star plowing through here. This is much easier once you know what you're doing and where you're going. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a fun little game, this game. It's, um, but yeah, like I was saying, I think, you know, the, the, the increased health sort of, um, I don't know, I think adds to the ease of it. I think if you had to do this sort of like a, you know, like to reference uh, Super Mario Galaxy, if you had to do like a Daredevil run of it, you know, of, of everything, it would make it a lot harder. Even, even with just like three health. Like, you know, traditional Mario health, or traditional, like, any game health, starting health, really. Like, you know, three hits and you're dead. Um, would add quite a bit of difficulty, but I think they kind of... I don't know, maybe this game was marketed to a slightly younger audience than uh, some others, but... I don't know. I don't really know. So we're just, this is, um, yeah, we could have gone down below, but we don't actually want to... Whoops, ah, eh, screw it. We don't really care too much. We're just going to plow... Whoop, I would have wanted the sword power, but it's not... Not essential. Or is it? No, I think it is essential. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't remember. Yeah. It wasn't really essential. Um, so this, this, this secret area is something that confused me so greatly. Because I was convinced, you know, this is not just now. I mean, this is like in life, I was convinced. That you had to be knocking that down to get to the secret area. And I think I eventually did do that and... Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not at all where the secret area is in this level. Um, it's much, 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 much better hidden than that. Um, that... Oh, excuse me. Don't know if you heard that, but... <laughs> um, yeah, so that actually just leads you to these three one-ups here. Which is kind of cool. I mean, it's three one-ups. It's the only time there's three one-ups right in a row in this game, as far as I can remember. Um, 
But yeah, so we don't really want to concern ourselves too, too much with that. We're gonna go here, and um, that little bomb that we broke when we first, first got uh, in this, this little area allows that one up to drop, and that's what we want there. And um, yeah, this, and it, I, I'm really amazed, but I swear, I really did all this discovering on my own. Um, and I did it on my own just now, too, but it was more based on memory, but, um, you know, like I said, no YouTube back then, no, like, you know, Nintendo Power for this game for me. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how I found this, but yeah, this is where you need to go. Yeah, really, really, really incredibly hidden. I don't know if I walked through the entire level to find it, or what, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, un un unbelievable to me, you know how hidden that, that actually is. I found it, you know, in at some point along the way, but I hate those guys. I time it just wrong every single time. Very frustrating. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. I hate those things. They get even more annoying later on, trust me. Well, there's not that much later on, but... Oh yeah, we want an umbrella here. Trust me. Trust me, I've played this game before, and you want an umbrella here. It's actually, again, none of this is, like, essential, but it just makes it more fun. I mean, that's the whole point of having a parasol tower, is to be able to do stuff like this. And those things actually really can be annoying if you're not, like, paying attention. Um, so you gotta time this just right. But just walk, and you'll be fine. <laughs> well, with the parasol power, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm finding when I'm not recording, uh, I can do these little bonus games a lot easier. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, I don't know, maybe if it's perhaps is just lagging things a bit or what, I don't know. Alright, moving onwards. Uh-huh, let's see, I don't quite remember this. I like these guys though. I, do, I would like the freeze power. I think it's the last time we're gonna get the freeze power in the game. Um, which is sad, because, you know, it's such a, I mean, it turns Kirby blue, for one. That's, that looks cool in of itself. Um, yeah, I don't even think we really wanted it here, to be honest with you. But, um, music in this game, I don't know if I've talked about that, but the music in this game is, is excellent. I, don't, I can't remember the composer. Um, did anyone, oh, there was a, there was a thing up, up top there. Sorry, it's too late now. Um, I don't know if the composer is anyone famous or not, but... Well, I'm sure it is in the Mar you know, in the Nintendo world. What is going on? Why is it so lagged? It's unbelievable. And it's doing- it is doing that when I'm not recording either, so I really have no explanations. I- I don't know. Oh, this nonsense, okay. Alright. Alright, so pay attention here, viewers. This- this is tough. This is one of those, um... Fuse lighting situations to which I earlier referred, so. Here's this thing. You gotta knock that out. And then you gotta keep going. Don't pay. Oh, oh, oh we need that. Uh, don't pay. Th don't pay that any mind just yet. And then you have to knock this one out. Trust me, you need every second, every possible second for this one. Okay, come over here and get the one up. All right, now. Don't worry about him. He's not gonna hurt anybody. Light the fuse and go, 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 go. You gotta go. Hug the right hand side of that wall as much as possible and haul it down. Wow, that was extremely close. Um. You, you have you have ex exceptionally like a short amount of time to do that. It is it's quite hard. Um, yeah, so you just do like I did. Hug, hug the right hand side of the wall, like I said there. Um, otherwise, the um, the little waddle D or waddle do or whatever he's called, he will just knock you out, and then then you're done. You have ab you can't get hit by anything, and you should be running whenever you can. You have no chance, like no time, no time to mess around whatsoever. Uh, oh, is this a really cool one? This is this is really cool. It's the one I think. It is. I think. Oh, oh, if we can do it without dying, so much the better. Um, I think it is. Yeah, it is. So, this this is this is another tricky one here. Um, so you come down here and you see you've got this, and those are more of those blocks that you can only knock out with the hammer. Now I said you can only knock that out with the hammer. But there is an exception to that rule, which we will hopefully not die and be able to show. As soon as you come off, come come through this, you've gotta inhale the UFO power. Sorry, that's really concentrating. There actually are like ten of them, uh, maybe not ten, but there's like five or six in this little area that you can get. But like I said, once you um once you've missed them, they're gone. So no time to mess around with them. Um, you know, don't hit them, don't kill them, just inhale them. So, 
you can destroy these blocks with a charged power star, or whatever they're called, I don't know. You have to charge it all the way up, it's the only way to do it, and then you can just uh, come through there, and then now we get the final, or not the final warp star, but the, uh, the warp star for the orange ocean. And take off, and now now is when you can really have fun, is because you have, I think this is the longest you can ever possibly have the UFO power, but you really want to be careful because the, the actual UFO enemies themselves are a little bit tricky to hit because they're, they, they move so randomly, um, and you, you really don't want to lose your UFO power uh, if you can, whoa, 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 and see the problem is it's uh, obviously you can't aim you know behind you, so you have to sort of always be facing them so you can't like retreat and fire on the run. Oh no, no! Oh, and I slid too. Oh, it's gone. Well, that's okay. It's the end of the level, pretty much. Um, yeah, well, mm, yeah, we'll get it. That was sad. It's always sad when you lose your UFO power. But, uh, yeah. So, it's cool. Um, it, it, that's another tricky little, uh, thing. I think this way you want to go up. I'm almost positive. Yeah, these are the easier ones to deal with. Whoops, I jumped right into that bomb. That was ridiculous. See, that's the way they're supposed. Oh, no, they've done it again. I could have sworn they just kept crisscrossing. I don't know. It has been a little while since I played this. I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, this that's my favorite technique when there's two of them. It just makes it a lot easier. And, uh, yeah, I'll just keep moseying on out. We have our crash power. Ah, alright. Meta Knight, or Meta Knight's helpful friend. I don't know who that really is, or is supposed to be. But, um, yeah, the, the, the other passage is similar, but different. I mean, it, it, it's actually extremely similar looking, but you have, like, different enemies, and this course is a little bit different. Oh, there's that. Oh, that's right. That's why you wanted to keep the UFO power. Well, I, bet I, can, I wonder if I can inhale it if I go up there. Because you can actually inhale these things. It's probably too far down, huh? They wouldn't make it, like, you know, with the, the blocks if you could actually inhale it. That'd be kind of silly. Yeah, whatever. And then you come through this randomly pointless area. And, uh, yeah, Meta Knight's got his minions out for us again. But, uh, we're gonna just dispatch them really quickly. Uh, these are actually, um, I would say probably the only mini-boss boss. Well, they're not a boss, they're like, they really are just mini-bosses, but, um, they're the only ones that I like to just, uh, inhale and spit out. Uh, you know, like, sort of like the Kirby with the neutral power. Um, because, I don't know, it just, it seems to go much faster because you can inhale one and spit it at the other, obviously, so you see what I'm doing. So, they, it sort of goes by twice as fast, and if you're trying to target them with a beam or a laser or the fire or anything else, uh, it just goes much faster that way, so, I don't know. My two cents. What do you think? Do you, have you, you know, what are your experiences with that? All right. Oh, oh, yeah, I was going to say, what power-up do we want for this boss? And I keep forgetting who it is. Um, yeah. He's mad that we destroyed his minions. It's Meta Knight! Um, I'm down to help. I maybe should have done something about that. <laughs> we'll see what happens. He's actually quite difficult. I remember, um, I think he's... Oh, gosh. See, the, and the, the other thing is, yes, you, you need to get that sword there, as you, if you didn't see that in the beginning. Um, and you have to fight him with the sword, and you can never lose your sword, at least. So that would actually be really a lot harder, is if you actually had a key. Oh, I should just take off, because he's just going to um, wreck me. Um, but yeah, if you had to worry about losing your sword and then trying to get it back in, other, in order to damage him, uh, that would be really, really, really annoying. Um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna die here, I know that, but, um, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe if the, if the YouTube viewers out there, you know, all five of you that watch this series, uh, you know, if you clap really hard or something. Ah! You weren't clapping hard enough, I, you know. You've disappointed me. Alright, no. It's all my fault. You know, I remember this fight, on, honestly, I mean, this is this is a little bit difficult, but I remember this fight being a lot harder as well. And I, I can't remember if I'm, if I'm thinking of the, uh, the Super Nintendo game or what, you know, the Sur Kirby, ah, Kirby Superstar. Ah, get out of the way, get out of the way, Kirby. Oh, that was not going to die again, all right. See, the, the key to this is to just be, like, really, really conservative and safe. Um, and you will have no problem with it, but if you're like me and you don't do safe and slow and conservative, you're gonna die. And that's exactly what's gonna happen again. And all of YouTube will laugh at it. Awful. Oh no! That was, that wasn't so bad. And, and check it out. 
Look at that! Did you see that? Meta Knight is like a bob -omb. It's weird. And I think that's the only time you ever see Meta Knight's face. I don't- I'm not up on all the new stuff, like the- I mean, I have, uh, Smash Brothers Brawl, but... I- I- you know, I don't know if you ever see him. Or that- the new- there's a Kirby game for the, um, the Wii, the, the Rope Kirby game. I don't know. So yeah, level 7 is the Rainbow Resort, and it's the last proper, uh, world in the game. So, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode of Lose Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's been informative and death-filled. Um... So yeah, we got some cool stuff coming up, some of the more exciting levels. No, well, th they're, they're fun. So, um, yes, don't forget to rate, comment, or subscribe, and join me next time when we go through the Rainbow Resort. I'm your host, PhoenixFire76, aka Lou, saying see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone.